much more on that story tonight on Eyewitness News after the football game. Now to the storm cleanup across New York City after two tornadoes touched down along with a microburst. The sounds of buzz saws and cleanup crews filled Brooklyn, Queens, and Staten Island. Right now, FEMA crews assess the damage to see if New York should get federal aid to help with the cleanup. Meanwhile, Con Ed says only 7,000 customers remain without power, down from 45,000 at the height of the storm. Eyewitness News reporter Lauren DeFranco has more on the cleanup. I came home the other night. There's a tree down in front of the house. It's awful. The, uh, this tornado, I was in it. It was very traumatic. I was crying. I could still cry. Like many of the people living here in Queens, Gail Zanoni is surrounded by the aftermath of the tornado. Here in Woodhaven, a tree that landed on two homes remains an eyesore. Terrible. Terrible what people went through with this. I couldn't believe it. A massive and time-consuming cleanup operation is underway throughout Queens. Con Ed officials say at the start of the storm, they had 45,000 customers without power. They are now down to a fraction of that. Today in Juniper Park, workers distributed dry ice to those people who still have no electricity. We've had um, over 250 crews, uh, which equals to about two, over 2,000 people that are out in the streets right now. In addition, we've had about 95 mutual aid crews from other states that have come in to help us out. We're in a blackout, like on the moon, and they turned off everything. John Geyer says his neighborhood in Bayside is still in the dark. He's getting by, but claims Con Ed and city officials haven't done a good job of reaching out to residents who need their help the most. It's the lack of being able to get information from the people that are supposed to give it to you. Mm -hmm. That's the frustrating part. Most neighborhoods still have a long way to go, and cleanup could take weeks. Con Ed officials say 95% of the customers who are still without power will be back online by Sunday morning. In Bayside, Queens, Lauren DeFranco, Channel 7, Eyewitness News.